Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about budget date ideas. I had someone email me, I can't remember when that was, a couple of weeks ago, asking for just some tips on budget date ideas. Her and her husband were trying to get out of the debt and they were really struggling with finding ways to still do date night, basically. And so I wrote her a huge long email back <laughs> and uh, thought I would go ahead and do a video so I can kind of share my ideas with all of you guys as well if you guys are interested. If you are, be sure to stick around. Don't forget to scroll down just a little bit and click that subscribe button for more videos. I upload three times a week. And yeah, but I think that's about all. So let's go ahead and get started. So these are all things we did while we were getting out of debt. We are debt free. We're on baby step number three, working on our emergency fund right now. Um, but we still do this kind of stuff. I mean, we're still on a budget and we will always be on a budget. I keep, I get asked that a lot. Like, are you guys still doing a budget? And like, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to go back into debt. But anyway, so these are things that we've done together and are currently doing together. Um, so the first thing that we do, we, so we live in Texas and since I am gluten free, I have celiac disease, I can't have gluten. So that really limits where we can go eat, especially in a small town. So we have a ton of great Mexican food restaurants here, like real Mexican food uh, restaurants. And so we eat Mexican food a lot. And that's one of our main places to go for date night. We have one that's literally like two seconds from our house. Like it's just like on the other side of the road. It's so good. And what we do is we split the fajita plate for one. So it's like the mixed fajita. So it has beef, chicken, and shrimp fajita with onion and pepper. And then it also comes with rice and beans and cheese and sour cream and pico and guac. <laughs> and it's a lot of food. And I can't believe one person would eat all that. And so we split it. And then the great thing about Mexican food restaurants, at least here, is that you get an unlimited supply of chips and salsa, which is free. <laughs> and this restaurant has the best salsa I've ever had in my life. Like we go there over other restaurants just because their salsa is better. But basically, so we're able to eat till we are full and have good food. And I think the fajita plate's like $13. So, I mean, it's super duper cheap. <laughs> so that's where we go a lot. So that's just an idea for y'all. I mean, you don't have to do Mexican food, but you can go other places. We have friends of ours who are doing this Dave Ramsey thing and they're like paying off their house now. Like they are so far ahead of us. But when we go to eat with them, they always split a meal. They figure out something that they want. They'll get like one appetizer and then like one entree and then they like split all of it. And that's how they eat. And it's way cheaper than ordering two entrees. And I mean, honestly, <laughs> if you're healthy and you don't, I mean, you know, you probably shouldn't eat a whole thing of food anyways, a whole plate of food that most restaurants serve anyways, because they serve so much food. So that's one way of a date night. Something that y'all can do is split meals. So you can still go out to eat. You just split the meal. Another thing that we did before I was gluten free. So our Little Caesars here in town, I'm not sure if this is true for all Little Caesars, but um, they have these pizzas called Hot and Ready's and they're five bucks. And so we would go get a pizza over there and some garlic butter <laughs> and um, go to the Red Box and rent a movie, which is like $2 maybe. And then we would go home and we would create like a pallet on our floor. So we have in our office, we have a trundle bed. So we have, it, well, it's a day bed with a trundle under it. So it's a twin and then there's a twin bed under it. So we would take both the mattresses, take them into the living room, lay them out, which makes a king size bed, which is amazing and put like blankets and pillows. And then we would sit there and eat some pizza while we watched our movie. And then, you know, our dog Finnegan would come cuddle with us and our cat and like, it was like a whole family affair. And so that was also a date night thing that we would do. That was super duper cheap. <laughs> um, I'm a, I'm a really big homebody. I don't like going out and being around a lot of people. It gives me a lot of anxiety and just stresses me out. So, uh, yeah, I loved doing that because it's totally right up my alley. And maybe I'll get a wine, bot like a bottle of wine to go with that. <laughs> um, so another thing that we did, so 
if y'all have been following me on Instagram or if you follow our travel Instagram, we have a travel Instagram uh, called at travel.y'all. It's listed down below in the description box. If you want to follow us, we haven't posted in a while because we haven't traveled, but we are about to go on two huge trips at the end of this year, so we will be posting a lot on there. But um, we took a lot of trips to Austin. So we live north of Austin, but we went down to Austin a lot. And we would take our dog and we would go to Zilker Park, which is kind of like this big park that's in the middle of Austin. I guess you could kind of compare it to Central Park, but way smaller. <laughs> but it's just a real nice park. People go out there and do yoga and play sports and do volleyball and put their hammocks up. And it's just a real cool place. So we would take like a picnic with us, bring our dog, and we would just chill out there, read um, a book, walk the dog around, people watch, which is like the cheapest thing that you could ever do and probably the most entertaining, honestly. <laughs> people watching is a lot of fun. So anyways, that's another idea. Go find a picnic or go get a picnic and go find a park and take your dog or your kids or whatever and just make a day of it. It can be really fun. Another thing that we um, have done is we would get on Pinterest and pick a meal together. So pick something to make for dinner and then we would go to the store and buy those ingredients and then come back and cook it in our kitchen. And that was just a fun way for us to like do something together that's interactive. It's way cheaper to eat at home than it is to eat out. And it's a fun way for us to try something new that we probably wouldn't have made otherwise. And then the fifth thing that I have for you guys that's budget friendly. So I've talked about this in videos before, but when you're creating a budget or when you're on a budget, you really need to make sure that it's realistic for you and your lifestyle. So my husband and I love to travel. We love to go new places and try new things. And so we knew we would not be able to get out of debt if we did not travel at all. And that doesn't mean take extravagant trips around the world. That doesn't even mean getting on an airplane. So what we did is, so we live kind of like in central Texas, basically. So we're pretty close to all the cities. We're like less than an hour from Austin. We're two hours from Dallas. We're three hours from San Antonio, two hours from Houston. Like we're pretty centrally located. So what I did is I would get online and just Google cheap things to do in Austin or free things to do in Houston. And so, I mean, you can find list upon list upon list of things to do that are cheap or free. And so I would, I made a huge like list of all the things to do in all the cities. And so we just took many road trips to the different cities and did crossed things off the list. I think we really only did Austin, um, but we, so like they have a lot of murals in Austin. So one of our things, one of the days we just went and we found all these different murals that they had. Those are free, you know. So I would highly recommend that if you're needing to just get out of the house. That's what we, my husband has a problem with staying at home all the time and just seeing the same scenery. Sometimes he just needs to get out and do something different. And so that's what we would do. We would just go to our list and be like, hmm, let's check out this park in Austin today. And so we'd go down to Austin and check out the park. It's something new, it was cheap, and it got us out of the house. So those are five different things that you can do. There are a ton of things out there, you guys. Just Google it, really. Cheap date ideas. <laughs> Pinterest has them. I mean, it's all over the place. Those are just five things that we did while we were getting out of debt and currently still do <laughs> while we're debt-free. Um, it's just... I don't know, you just gotta figure out things that you like and enjoy doing together and finding a way to make it cheap. So we liked Mexican food, so how can we still get Mexican food cheap? You split it, that's how you do it. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment down below with ideas that you have. What are things that you and your spouse or significant other do together to save money on dates so that we can all give each other different budget date ideas, not just mine. And also leave, what emoji shall we leave? Um, let's leave the kissy face emoji down below if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy going on budget date nights. And give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.